but not much to say. It was, it was, a, it was a hard night for me. Uh, I'm 22 years old. I've been here before. I lost my, my first pro fight, but uh, uh, there's really no excuses to make. I felt good out there. The training camp went well. I hit him. I, I think I hit him. I have so much power in my hands, I don't realize I knock people down, and it just happens so fast. But uh, obviously, I made a mistake by staying in the pocket too long. It's a 50 50 chance of, of uh, somebody getting knocked out. That sucks. It's, it sucks bad. But hey, I'm 22 years old. I don't have this figured out yet. It's something that needs to slow down for me. I need to need to use my wrestling a little bit more. And uh, hey, we'll go from there. We'll go back to the drawing board. Question right here. Uh, hey Aaron, uh, so yeah, obviously your first loss in MMA, and uh, as you, you analyzed the fight pretty well just there, but um, do you have any uh, thoughts on what sort of time frame you're looking to get back into it? I know you, you're going to obviously want to avenge this loss or maybe do something else in the near future. Do you have any time frame for when you think you're going to get back in the cage? No, no, no. I don't really have a time frame right now. I'm healthy. I mean, other than just a little bruise, but, uh, I'm healthy, so I'll get back in the gym, figure out what we need to do, but I'm not going to make any decisions right now. Aaron, obviously you packed him with that big shot. Did you feel like you were going to be able to put him away and that's why you stayed in the pocket? Yeah, I thought, yeah, I, I, that's just me being young. I felt I was just going to hit him again, but that's where Henry's good. That's where we knew that we, we need to stay out of that position. He likes to be in the clinch and kind of throw those bombs, those uppercuts, but it's a learning process. And uh, But yeah, I thought I was going to knock him out. Now, obviously, we're in LA. We could see that it's been a it's a tough night. You yeah. didn't have to come out here and talk to us. Can you talk about your decision to come out here and give us your time, which we're thankful for? <laughs> no, I mean that's just what you do. I mean, you guys are. It feels good when you win. You guys are always. The media is always here when you win, and and you got to show your respect. You know, you can't just be be wanting to come out and when everything is good. When when shit hits the fan, you know, you got to be a man. Like. I always say you gotta put your suit on and go face the media. That's just what you do. Thank you. So, are there any plans to uh, try to incorporate more of your, your wrestling base into your future fights? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I, obviously, my hand, I have a lot of power in my hands, but uh, but wait till they see my wrestling. They, I mean, my wrestling is on a different level. I mean, so I'll start definitely using it. But hey, we'll see. We'll take the fight as they come. I felt a lot, a lot more comfortable this fight. I felt, you know, um, everything was was slowing down. I, I just got clipped with a really good punch uh, in, in the clinch. But other than that, we'll see. We'll take it. We'll take it as as it goes. Your next time out, would you prefer to uh, take a more low profile fight? No, no, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, if I get a rematch, that'd be great. I'd feel probably fight for a title. But uh, but no, I think you know, top five, top. I don't know. That's not really my decision, but I'm capable of beating all these guys. It's just they don't uh, they don't realize. That. Obviously, I got hit with that punch, but my skills are, my skills are there. I just need to I just need to take my time. That's something that Coach Antonio has always preached to me. Is just take my time. I have all the skill sets in the world. So I haven't had really time to use my use my wrestling. I've been knocking everybody out. So, but it's a learning lesson when you go against these veterans. They're able to endure the shots and find their openings and weather the storm a little bit. So that's a learning lesson. Aaron, um, is this the right weight class for you? I think some people felt like the, the cut might have been too much. Do you feel like that was a factor at all? No, but the, the cut's not, not hard at all. That's what people don't realize is like, I don't really cut weight all that much. I mean, I watch it, I eat 24, I mean, all year round, but the cut is actually not bad. Um, I make it easier than I did when I was like four or five years ago. I make it a lot a lot easier. Everything is going well with my training. Everything is, is on point. My my meal prep is good. My my coaching is good. It's just a little simple mistake getting hit in the head. There's not much to say. People can make all the excuses in the world. Oh, coaching is bad or this or that. Oh, weight cut is good. I'm definitely too small for 155. I mean, I walk around 165 and, and, and only have to fight at 156. There's no way. 145 is the best weight class for me. And respect for you coming out here and, and, and talking to the media. Um, are you yeah. going to avoid social media for a bit just because, you know, it's there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of haters, so to speak? Oh, I'm sure I'm going to face a lot of negativity. Uh, for a few days, I'll, I'll be off of that, just go with my family, maybe go on a little vacation. But uh, but I've been here before. Uh, it's not it's not my style to just hide and hide and go home and not face the media. Because you guys are here for me when I am doing good, and then when you're doing bad, you guys are obviously still here. So what's, 
So you can't you can't be that guy. You can't. I don't know what the I don't know what the term is. I can't come with, top of my head. But somebody that's like when everything's going well, they're here. But it's they're 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 not doing so well. They just say, ah, oh, screwed. I want to go home and hide from the world. Nah, it's, it's something that you. That's that way I was brought up. Um, you can't just my dad. You, my dad would tell me you just can't go out there and you're, everything is good. And then when something goes bad, you just turn around. You have to face it. Hey, it sucks sometimes, but it's just what you do. My last question. Uh, this is obviously very fresh, but would you like your next fight to be out out, out of the U.S.? You know, maybe do an international fight just because Bellator does travel, just to switch things up a little bit, or do you want to fight close to home? I, I I feel good. I feel I feel good fighting at home. It's a lot easier. I mean, fighting the guys that I've been fighting. I mean, my skills are there. That's that's the thing that's so that's so um, so frustrating. I mean, that 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 fight is mine if I just take my time. If I would have just let him get up, I would have hit him again. So. Uh, I don't know what the future holds. To be honest with you, I can't give you a clear answer. That's not my job. So my job is just to fight. If they say we want you to go to internet, we want you to go to to the UK to fight. Hey, okay, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Can you put into words how this compares to losing your MMA debut? Uh, I just, I, mean, I just I fucking hate to lose. That's just simple. I hate to lose, whether it be my pro debut, whether it be for a world title, whether it be just a regular guy. I just it just sucks the feeling. It just what hurts so much is just there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, you know. So it is what it is. Uh, and how uh, you said you're going to you might go on vacation. How quickly do you get back into the gym? Back into Sam's garage. Oh, it sounds garage. I'll take a few weeks off from there. That's that's very very <laughs> tough. But no, I'll be back in the gym, hitting the hitting the bag. Um, a lot of people don't realize taking too much time off is really bad for the body, especially me. I'm so used to training so much that if, if I don't train for two weeks, my body goes in shock. So it's like it's really bad. So I'll probably just do light runs, hit the bag, hit some mitts, because I, I I genuinely love to to hit the mitts and, and so and train and hit the bag. So I'll definitely be in the gym, um, you know, in a week or, week or two, because I don't like my weight to get out of hand with something. And last question, you and Henry were so respectful before the fight. Yeah. What kind of conversation did you guys have after the fight? I don't really remember. Everything just happened so fast. So I just, you know, um, yeah, everything happened fast. But I, I, have, I have a respect for Henry. He comes from the same uh, city. Same similar city as me, so there's no bad blood here. I, I mean, what can I say? You know, he's he's a good guy. There's nothing nothing bad. There's just he's got me. He got me tonight. Hey, Aaron. Thanks for thanks for coming out. Uh, no worries. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to ask this question, honestly, yeah. because it, you like you mentioned. You were potentially moments away from winning this fight, so yeah. you can't say that, that this was not a fight that should have been made. It, obviously, you were very competitive in it, and you had a chance to win it. But I did see like like Eddie Alvarez on on, on social media mentioned something. He said, "When you're 22 years old and you're taking a shot like that, it's just tough to see, you know, because yeah. it, you are still developing." So I guess what I'm asking you is, it, you mentioned top five and that, that you want to you want to face those challenges, and I can yeah. tell that you're a competitive guy but yeah. do you think there's a possibility that you are doing this service by facing a guy who's in who's having his 20th fight tonight yeah we'll see i will see but eddie alvarez how many times has he been knocked down every fight so that guy he's got a he's i get what he's saying but yeah i don't know i don't know i, I wish i could i wish i could i can give you a clear answer maybe it is we said it i have to sit down with my family and, and figure out uh, do we take do we take lesser opponents Okay, give, give me a lesser opponents, because there's gonna be, there's gonna be a hefty hospital bill, because I will really fucking hurt somebody bad. That's really not that, that that's that's for me personally. I don't. They always ask. I'll hurt somebody that's one in the same record as me, four and one. I will literally hurt them, but that's okay if I need to do that and take you know five, <coughs> five fights and guys that are the same records. Give me the same guys. You, now give me give me the the guys that are that are my record. Watch what happens. It's not going to be pretty, but it is what it is. That would just be collecting paychecks. It would be good. So, yeah, yeah, you might you might be right about that. Just get some uh, guys with the same experience as me, but just, just watch what happens. What are those conversations like between you and your family and your team? Are they, like, 
going back and forth, or is everyone like, no, let's 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 go right for the top? Is it? No, it's back and forth. I mean, there's there's you know, I have my brother who's who's very calm, cool, and collected. Who's, I'm with every day, so he's got a. Um, He's very open-minded. He's not about all. It's it's me. It's me. I, I obviously challenge myself, and I know I'm gonna hear a lot of a lot of shit on the in the internet. People saying I need to do this, need to do that, but I just go back and figure out what I need to do with my family and my coaches. My coaches, Antonio, Freddie Roach, um, Sam Calavita. So we'll see what we need to do. Like I said, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'll be back and and uh, just take some time. Just take some time.